Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be showing you how to size a basic solar power system for your home. Whether you're new to solar or need a quick recap, we'll break it down step by step. By the end of this video, you'll be able to size your system like a pro. All right, first things first, we need to figure out how much energy your home actually uses. But don't worry, this part's easy. All we need is a basic formula. That's wattage times hours of use. Let's start by looking at some of the major appliances in your home. Your refrigerator, for example, might use 150 watts and run 24 hours a day. Using our formula, we'll plug in 150 watts for 24 hours, and that gives us a total of 3,600 watt hours per day just for the fridge. Next, let's add up the lighting in your home. If you're using about 10 light bulbs at 60 watts each for six hours a day, that'll be 60 watts times six hours times 10 lights, giving us a total of 3,600 watt hours per day for your lights. Your TV? Let's say it uses 100 watts and you watch it for about five hours a day. That's 100 watts times five hours, giving us 500 watt hours per day. And here's the big one, your air conditioner. If it's pulling 2000 watts and runs for eight hours a day, that's 2000 watts times eight hours, totaling 16,000 watt hours each day. So when we add everything up, you're looking at a total of about 23,700 watt hours per day, just for these basic appliances. To get a size estimate for your own power system, check out our home solar sizing tool on our website. This tool allows you to input each of your appliances and get a custom estimate in no time. Now, it's not just enough to cover your daily usage. You need backup power to keep the lights on during cloudy days, to keep the AC running during hot summers, or let's be honest, when you're binge watching your favorite shows on the weekend. To figure out your autonomy, which is just a fancy word for the amount of time your system can provide energy before it needs recharging, you take your daily energy usage and multiply it by at least three days. So for three days of autonomy, you'd need 71,100 watt hours to ensure you're covered for when bad weather, blackouts, or any other issues come up. Taking autonomy into account when sizing your system gives you peace of mind knowing your home will stay powered even when the sun isn't shining. And just like that, you're ready to keep things running no matter what. Now this is the part where our 48 volt ethos really shines. When you're choosing batteries for your home, Lithium batteries like the Ethos are the smartest choice. They're fully UL certified, offer a 100% usable capacity, weatherproof IP65 rated protection, and stackable expandability if you need more power down the road. So let's go back to our example, 71,100 watt hours of backup power. With a 48 volt Ethos, which has just over five kilowatt hours per module, you'd need around 15 battery modules to cover that backup. Now let's talk solar panels. To figure out how many solar panels you need, Take your daily energy usage and divide it by the number of sunlight hours you get per day. Let's say you get five hours of good sunlight. So we calculate 23,700 watt hours divided by five hours, and we end up with 4,740 watts. Now, you'll wanna round up a bit to give yourself some flexibility. In this case, you need about five kilowatts worth of solar panels to support your daily usage. If you've got a good spot on your roof or even in your yard, these panels can make all the difference when it comes to generating enough power for your home. Now, let's talk about inverters. This is the part of your system that takes the DC power from your solar panels and batteries and converts it into the AC power your home runs on. There's plenty of inverter options on the market today, but our preferred choice for residential setups is EG4's 12,000 watt hybrid inverter. This inverter pairs perfectly with our 48 volt Ethos systems. It's designed to handle up to 18 kilowatt PV arrays and can be connected in parallel up to 10 times should you ever want to expand your system later on. Plus, it's fully certified to UL 1741 standards, making it installer friendly and a top-notch option for grid-tied or off-grid setups. Plus, it comes with built-in monitoring capabilities, allowing you to track your energy use and system performance in real time. It's like having full control over your energy at your fingertips, which is a huge benefit when powering your home with solar. To size your inverter, take your total daily energy usage We'll round up our earlier example to 24,000 watt hours and divide it by the number of hours you typically run your appliances. For example, if you're running your system for about eight hours a day, that's 24,000 watt hours divided by eight hours. So you'd need an inverter that can handle at least three kilowatts. But we always recommend oversizing just to be safe. Whether you're connected to the grid or going fully energy independent, EG4 inverters provide the functionality and flexibility you need to keep your home powered efficiently and reliably. All right, let's bring it all together. To size your home power system, start by calculating your daily energy usage and be sure to account for at least a few days of autonomy. Then choose the right batteries, like big batteries 48 volt ethos. 
and make sure you've got enough solar panels and the right inverter to keep everything running smoothly. In the end, building a solar power system is all about smart planning. Now that you've got the basics down, you're ready to design the perfect system for your home. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for more awesome content and visit BigBattery.com for all your power needs. We'll catch you in the next video.